John 6, 35, Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. This is a short yet strong statement, a word picture full of symbolism and spiritual truth. To start off with, the person making the statement is Jesus. And if Jesus said it, we can believe it. When he spoke those words, he was talking to the uneducated common people who had followed him to Capernaum by boat because they thought he was a prophet. But he is also speaking to us across the centuries through God's holy word. Those people who had the opportunity to actually hear Jesus speaking had been asking him a series of questions, much like what people today might ask. He answered by drawing a comparison to food, bread specifically, because that is something they understood, were familiar with, and knew the importance of. A person can survive with bread and water alone for approximately six months, and many people in the Holy Land in that time of history had very limited food choices or supplies. Life was precarious. Life was precious. Even now, earthly human life is important to us all because that's all we know. And bread has been a staple of human life for thousands of years. Archaeologists have actually found charred crumbs of flatbread somewhere between 11,000 and 14,000 years old in Jordan. Remember when the children of Israel were starving in the desert? Exodus 16, 4 says, Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from the heavens. In verse 31, it says, The people of Israel called the bread manna. The bread that people ate in the Holy Land during Jesus' day is much the same as many eat there today. Flat bread, like naan or pita. The challah bread used now for Jewish Shabbat meals was not introduced until the 15th century or so in Europe. Bread is one of those foods that fills you up and sticks to your ribs, as they say. Today we have all sorts of different breads, eaten in different cuisines and either containing or without certain ingredients. But your body will digest it and eventually you will have hunger pains if you delay eating for very long and you will starve to death if you do not eat. I am the bread of life. What does this verse mean in its totality? That Jesus the Messiah, our Redeemer, is both necessary and sufficient for our eternal spiritual life. Once you have accepted him as your Savior, your eternal life in heaven is assured. But because we are still human, until then, or until we cross over, we need to continue feasting on the scriptures, turning to him in prayer to make sure we are getting the correct nutrition for our spiritual growth and spreading the gospel, feeding others, if you will. Jesus is the sustenance that keeps us going regardless of our physical conditions or situations. There is no substitute.